Hey, greetings to Rios. How you doing? Let me show you my Minecraft survival world. This is right about where I first spawned and right away had some wood to work with so beat up a few trees and had some wood. Got wood. Yeah. Yeah. Got some wood right away. <laughs> and then I just started exploring around of course and had a clue what to do. But after watching a few uh, videos it occurred to me that I should have a shelter so I built my first shelter over here. Of course, learned some basic crafting, built a couple tools, a pick, etc. Started some mining and built myself this little shelter in here first, along with a little back mine door and some crafting box and all that stuff. So that was my first little home, and you know, I'd get boring after a little while. The snow biome was kind of kind of boring. And so I wandered, bam, and figured, you know, got to find somewhere else to be and some other minerals and see what else is out there. So I headed off in this direction, found lots of sand, dug up a whole bunch of sand for making glass later. Off in the distance there, you can see a sort of tower kind of thing that I built at one point as sort of a uh, landmark. I found, at first I was getting lost, exploring off in different directions, I wanted a nice tall landmark. Built this drift through this tunnel after for a little speed and eventually came over here and built this. This is my second homestead along with a barrier wall and a bigger house. That all came later. The first part was down in here and then that later. Let's go over here and let me show you. I had myself a nice little complete shelter here, lots of torches and they didn't bother me much although I found the odd time the battery hiding outside the door here, so this was a bit of a mistake, but yeah, live and learn. Nice uh, little uh, shelter here, actually not so little, it got bigger after a while. And I also built my first branch mine down there, where I found my first diamonds, etc., and I had plenty of storage and crafting, etc., in here. Eventually, though, I decided instead of going outside every time, I'd like to have myself a, you know, kind of a compound that maybe I can make some farms around it or something and grow some food, etc. etc. And I figured, you know, I'd start with this and I'd have to make a pool or two in the corner or something. But I wanted to have myself a moat. So I started digging around the place and figured, oh, I'll have myself a nice moat around the place and the zombies and mobs and stuff will all fall into that. And I wouldn't have to worry. Yeah, it didn't quite work out that way. Oops, here we go. We're down in the moat. We're down in the moat. Well, the biggest problem turned out to be that filling it with water and keeping it flowing. Because in this snow biome, it kept freezing. Which I guess is not a big deal. Plus the fact that it broke into a canyon here. <laughs> and I discovered that event. Well, I mean, of course I discovered that earlier. But here in the snow biome, it just wasn't working out. So I decided I'd go exploring and see what happened. And I figured, well, pick a consistent direction. Something I can find myself back from easily. There's my, uh, my, my tower. I was building a tower here on the edge of this canyon. Found some good minerals and stuff there. Ran a uh, shaft down there. Found an old abandoned mine. Still not done with that. And, of course, built myself a little shelter over here at the head of that shaft for quick access and a little snug little place to stay down in there while working in a shaft down there to an old mine. Well, after a while, I got a little bored and I wanted to see what else was out there. I heard with... 1.6 update that there's supposed to be horses and donkeys and other stuff going on. So I figured, eh, pick a direction. What's better than east? Easy to find when the sun comes up. And I found, through trial and error, that in fact, traveling over ice, at first I wondered, is this going to break? Am I going to go splat? No. But if you sprint and jump on the ice, you can go like snot. Here, let's try this. Here we go. I mean, not going like snot. Oh, because I'm starving. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Well, obviously, my poor guy getting a little hungry here. 
So we shall head back to my new main new facility over here. And we better have some food. I've got a pork chop to cook. I do believe I have some food stored at my new fortress. Well, anyway, like I was saying, I came over here to the east. Which right now I can't sprint because my guy is awful hungry. I forgot to bring any good food with me. I had one cooked pork chop with me. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Piggies! Piggy! Come here, piggy! Come here, pork chop! Come here, pork chop! And over here we found grasslands. So over here I was able to find a few more things, establish myself a new homestead. At first just a very small shelter, and then later I leveled off that whole hilltop over there and made that my compound. And my poor guy, he's just slowing down. Oh my, oh my, I could be in trouble here. You may be about to watch me kill myself through starvation. <laughs> well, that's what you get from being an amateur. I've already died several ways in this game. Came out of my shelter one day, level 39 guy. Came out of my shelter to find myself standing between endermen. And I guess they took that as an attack. They killed me on the spot. Uh, oh, do I have some food in here? I don't think I do, but I've got pork chop to cook. Oh, and I do. I've got some steaks and stuff. I forgot about that. That'll be okay. Yay. Let's have some steak for lunch. Nom, 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 nom. nom. Other steak. Oh, yeah, baby. Steak. All right. Well, I have managed to find some good minerals. I have started myself a new branch mine down there, and lots of good stuff down there. I have built myself a nice compound here. So far, the only thing I have to worry about getting in here are spiders. Everything else is stuck outside this wall. Ha ha! But of course, they can shoot at me, and they do. And the damn things have gotten smart. Skeletons and stuff. In the, in the dawn, as the fire, as the dawn comes up and they're on fire, they'll jump in that pond down there in order to survive. Smart ass bastards. And of course, the zombie, occasional zombie horde appearing at the door at night, kind of like this. Uh, look at the horde of zombies at the door, man! They're gonna burn. Sun comes up here. I am in my compound. Put a horde of zombies at the door. Put a watcher. Burn, man, burn. Killed off the skeletons out there. I have killed some spiders. They came over the wall. There's more skeletons over there staring at me. Let's get back over here for the zombie queue. Because pretty soon they're gonna burn. I already killed a couple of them out of there, and that's why they pissed at me. Oh, there they go. Zombie barbecue. Burn, baby, burn. There's another one coming. Since the 1.6 update, man, these guys have been uh, much more deadly and much more entertaining. That's why it's fun to watch them burn. There's a couple over there, and a mob. Skeleton off in the distance over there. Burn, you bastards!
Ta da! Oh, that guy's still gonna be over there. It's pretty pretty dude. Gonna be looking for me. And they're deadlier out in these grass biomes. They hide a little easier. So, we will head back to the ship. Old homestead. And close the door. Where we're safe behind the wall. Well, except for spiders. Thinking maybe I should replace every second of these things with cactus at some point, maybe. If I can find some cactus. Well, that's it. That was my little zombies at the wall adventure. Ta-da!